Good morning, Toastmasters and guests, and Lindsay. Lindsay was also presenting project number five today, Your Body Speaks, where the objectives are to use stance, movement, gestures, facial expressions, to help get your message across and engage the audience. The other objective was also to make it as natural as possible. And Lindsay also asked to look at, she's trying to look at feeling more comfortable with pauses and inflections. So these are the things I was looking at. Lindsay always tells a great story. We've heard a lot of great stories during her different speeches and I really like that. You're always enthusiastic, you get the audience engaged, especially with your facial expressions. I think that's a real strength. Your eyes, we're really feeling what you're feeling as you're telling the story. I think your facial expressions are a real strength. And your hand gestures. The hand gestures, as the manual says, are the most expressive part of your body, and that is another of your real strengths. And they're not just little hand gestures, you know, you really throw them out there. And that really helps to get the impact across. Movement, you're really working on your movement, and you're moving around, but this is an area I think I have trouble with as well in making it natural, because it was, you know, you're really trying to move around the but you're kind of pacing. And that's what I find hard, is to move to a certain part of the room and then to sort of get a point across, rather than sort of moving as you're talking. So it sort of can lose the audience a little bit when they're sort of moving back and forth. So the idea of movement is to get the audience engaged. When you're moving across, they'll follow you, but not to overdo it. That's something I really have to work on as well. And while you were doing that, in terms of eye contact, there are times you had very good eye contact. But I think it may have been because you were trying to move around, you were sort of looking at the ground as you moved. So try not to do that, because then you'll lose engagement with the audience. So maybe if you had better eye contact while you were pacing, I wouldn't have noticed that as much. So you sort of lost us a little bit there. In terms of your pauses, you've really come a long way in adding pauses to your speech and slowing down a little bit. I think you can still work on it. It's very hard to pause. You get, it's uncomfortable, those silences, but it may feel that to you, but not to the audience. So you still need to work on that. I think you can add a little bit more vocal variety. Head down, the introduction is where you could probably add that in as well, where maybe sort of launch straight into your presentation. Maybe you could have some sort of dramatic opening with, and there's an opportunity to use vocal variety to really bring us in. But overall, speech project number five, you've really come along. I really like to see you, like the improvement I've seen. I love to hear your stories. I think it was a great project number five.